Hello, my fellow Cancers, the best sign ever. Okay, welcome to your full moon in Sagittarius love reading. So this is going to cover May 26th through May 29th. And full moons are all about reveals. They're all about illuminating what's been hiding under the surface. And Sag energy is all about being free flowing, free loving, independent, doing what you want, being authentically yourself. So this reading is going to illuminate someone's full, honest, blunt truth towards you, Cancer. So let's start this reading off. I'm hearing shuffle once, cut three times. All right. One, two, three. We're going to find out who is in your energy, Cancer. Who is in Cancer's energy during this full moon in Sagittarius? Who is showing up in Cancer's energy? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the world. Ooh, okay. So this could be very interesting. <laughs> the world is the end of the major arcana. So one thing I think is so interesting about pulling out this card this year is it's a 21. So I do feel like I'm getting numerous things. This could definitely be someone that you dealt with a few years ago, a few months ago, a few weeks ago, however long ago. And since it's the end of the major arcana, it's coming back around. It's completion. So it's like something's ending. I feel like you're getting closure, but the world is also round. It's spherical. So it's almost like something's coming around. I do feel like something, someone that you dealt with a, a ways ago, a while ago, is going to make an appearance again sometime this year. And I just feel like this reading is going to, it's pointing it out, but we're talking about who is in your energy. So we have like the Leo on here. We have the Pisces fish. This card to me, um, it's very indicative of cycles completing, but also cycles beginning. So it's almost like I'm getting multiple energies with that. It could be you dealing with an ex. It could be you dealing with someone new. We're going to pull out more about what's being illuminated before we go off on a rant about that. So what about the world? What you got to say about that spirit? Let's find out what's being illuminated for Cancer. What is being illuminated between Cancer and this person that they dealt with that is coming back around in 2021? Ooh, okay, so we have the Eight of Swords. And what's interesting is we have a full moon on this card. So it's almost like what's being illuminated is someone being stuck on you. Swords energy is air sign energy. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. But this is someone that can't get you out of their head. Air sign energy is about the communication realm, headspace realm, talking, thinking. It's someone that really can't, it's like, it's almost self-bondage too, because it's like they, you have the power of controlling your thoughts about thinking about something else, but it's almost like you're so stuck in their subconscious with the moon in the background. They cannot get you out of their thoughts. They constantly think about you, Cancer. It's someone that you definitely dealt with in the past um, that's really always thinking about you. Could be an air sign, could be a Leo, could be a Pisces, perhaps. Let's see. Let's see the most likely energy. Way too many flipping out. Most likely energy to occur between Cancer and this person during this full moon in Sag. Whether energetically or physically, what is this? We have the Five of Cups, so this is sadness. And again, we have another full moon here. Fives are conflict energy. They're also about changes and transitions. So someone's really dealing with a loss of you. Someone's feeling very sad. I feel like I'm hearing a bad decision. Someone made a bad decision about you. Um, someone might have moved on from you thinking they could do better and voila, they really could not. So yeah, I feel like someone's feeling very, it's like someone's almost in their head about maybe they were listening to other people like external validation, trying to do what they thought was right, moved away from you. And it's almost like they're dealing with this inner demon now because um, they made a bad decision about you. Yep, bottom of the deck energy, bad decision. Two of swords in reverse. This is someone that chose wrong. This is someone obsessing over a decision that did not go well or someone that really can't make a decision. They're really having an inner battle. With two of swords in reverse, it's like you, it's the opposite of being in harmony, of handling your shit. It's like you really can't handle a decision you made or you really don't know which way to go. 
Um, this is someone that made a bad decision about you, point blank period, and is coming, what's being illuminated is them constantly feeling sad about you, thinking about you, and I do feel like they're coming back around at some point this year. Could be in two months, five months, eight months, who knows? I don't even know if there's eight months left in the year, seven months left in the year. Let's get more about this energy for Cancer. Who's in Cancer's energy? And what's being illuminated from this person that made a very bad decision about Cancer? Besides the fact that they made a bad decision. Let's get more about this person's energy, what's being illuminated here. Yeah, that one wants to come out. All right, one more. What's being illuminated in Cancer's energy from this person? Thank you. Okay, so we have friendship coming out and communication. Yeah, this person is so interested in communicating. It makes sense with all this swords energy. Um, and then we have um, water sign energy too. So you could also be dealing with an, another Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. But this is someone I feel like you had a good friendship with. First and foremost, even before like a romantic connection, you were good friends with this person. And I feel like that's what this person misses the most. Um, a friendship with you, like really a true strong connection. And I feel like they either chose someone else above you or their priorities just weren't in order. Um, and they strayed and they made a bad decision and they're realizing it. And all they want with you now, Cancer, is communication. All right, hearing shuffle three times, cut once. So we're gonna find out more about maybe what this person wants to tell you, what's being illuminated, because what's being illuminated is them feeling like they made a bad decision. Can't stop thinking about you. All right, thank you. Is that one or two? That's two, there we go. So we have the green witch and the marriage witch. Ooh, you could have been married to this person. This could have been someone that you are maybe even still married to, just separated from. Um, but this could be someone that I feel like this person does want a marriage with you. And if you notice the black cat on this card, I like that because it makes me think about the moon. Even with the broomstick too, like flying to the moon. I feel like you and this person had a very, very deep connection. And like there's more unfolding with eight coming out. Eight is an infinity symbol more to come more unfolding even with the the two wedding bands it looks like a number eight on there but that means there is more to come with this person trust that with the marriage witch i feel like this person wants to offer you um like a stronger commitment and something that's based not in just like sexual or physical attraction but true honest friendship and then we have the green witch, which I'm hearing green with envy. So there's good witches in this deck and bad witches. So one good witch came out, the marriage witch, and the bad witch is the green witch, which I'm hearing green with envy. I feel like this person's constantly thinking about you, wondering what you're doing. 24 could mean something. Maybe something's going to happen in 2024. Who knows? But I do, maybe a marriage will happen then. This person's constantly thinking about you, though. They're constantly wondering about you i feel like they're envious of if anyone's ever dating you it's just very green with envy is what i'm getting hmm interesting okay <laughs> all right cancer we're gonna find out more about what's being illuminated wow wow okay way too many just flipped out let's try that again what's being illuminated in cancer's energy for the sag full moon take it flip it the blade <sighs> There's a lot of swords energy. We have the blade. We have this uh, two of swords. We have the eight of swords. There's something about cutting or communication or... Yeah, there's something about, and it's so funny too, because the moons are on this card. And when we're talking about moon readings, this is definitely a sign that the moon has a very strong impact between you and this person. The moon is playing a gigantic role, but with that, that knife, air sign, wielding this energy in the air type of blade energy this person is very interested in communication with you cancer i also feel like they want to cut the bad blood between you cut the drama is what i'm hearing okay too many came out but i did peep that past life relationship came out on the top okay so we have what else is being illuminated for cancer what's being illuminated take the one on the top for cancer 
you deserve love. You are lovable. And look, it's Cupid's arrow. So it's like someone's got their eye on you while you're in separation. So I do feel like you're separated from this person right now, but they're still looking in at you and they still want you, Cancer. Hearing shuffle twice, cut once, even though I already shuffled these. It's all good. Okay, so let's see what else is being illuminated between Cancer and this person, besides the fact that this person feels like they want to ditch the bad blood. I feel like they really want to make a stronger connection to you, Cancer. It's all over this reading. Communication, stronger connection, jealous of who you might be dating, wondering about that. What's being illuminated? And Cupid's arrow while you're in separation. <laughs> time apart yeah they're constantly thinking about you while you're apart and then we have mastery which makes me think about you guys have already run this rodeo before when you master something you do it over and over and over and over again so i feel like maybe you are on off with this person and even if you weren't it's almost like you've done this for lifetimes before and i feel like this person really wants to master this connection between you two now that's what's coming out for this full moon it's like why I'm almost hearing like, why would I start with someone new when I've already built so much with you? I don't know why I just heard that very specifically. Okay. Let's get more about what's being illuminated between cancer and their person. So we have peace. So I feel like you guys were at odds for a while, especially with 28 breaking down to a 10 which X marks the spot, and X is definitely who this is. But this is definitely the energy of someone that wants to just, like, call a truce with you. They want to call a truce and, like, have their forever go on. So we're going to take that, yeah. Surrender now, moss spirit. Scarab beetle spirit, magic works through you. I think I just butchered that. Surrender now, magic works through you. Yeah, this is the universe coming to both of your aids. I feel like the universe wants you guys together, but it's almost like you had to separate in order for this connection to ever work out. Surrender now makes me think that it's almost like there's nothing more you could be doing. There's nothing more this person could be doing. It's just about kind of being at peace with yourself and letting the universe take over, flow through you both, and then watching the magic unfold. Because the universe knows this person's intentions. They know this person wants you. They've been stuck on you, sad about you, and they're coming back around. They want to kill off the bad blood and offer you a real connection. So I feel like all you need to do in the meantime is just let go, surrender, keep loving yourself, and then watch the magic unfold. I hope this made sense. I hope it resonated for you, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching this reading, and I will catch you in another Moon Phase reading very soon.